Hello everyone and welcome back to White Knowledge. Today in this video I am going to show you how to configure GSM Gateway with UCM PBX. So I have connected the GSM Gateway with my laptop directly back to back because it has default IP address of 11.1 .1 and I am going to change the IP address. So I am going to log in this gateway and the default password is admin. So now I am going, so as you can see in the system information, the model is UC2000E, then star gateway. And now I am going into the network setting, local network configuration option. So default IP is 11.1 .1 and I am going to change this. So I am selecting the use IP option and entering the IP address and the new network details. I have set the IP address, subnet mask and gateway. Now I am click on save. Okay. And now going into the tools and restart. Now restarting this gateway. To take the effect of new IP address. So let's wait for the gateway to reboot and get the IP address. So I have enabled the ping in command prompt for new IP address so I'll wait for some time until it come back to the network and now I have connected this gateway to the network and remove the cable from my laptop so as you can see the ping is coming here and now we are continuing the next process so I'm going to log in with the new IP address and after login, I am setting the configuration for SIP trunk that means for UCM. So I am going into the call configuration and SIP trunk configuration option and I am giving the IP address of UCM here and as well giving the SIP port which is 5060 by default and clicking on OK. Now I am going into the UCM and similarly creating the SIP trunk with GSM gateway here as well. So in the VoIP trunk option I am selecting here SIP trunk and giving a name for the gateway identification. You can now in the host name I am setting the IP address of ESM gateway and clicking on save. Now going back again in the SIP trunk and going in the advanced setting option. Now I am enabling heartbeat detection so that it can monitor the SIP trunk status and dashboard. Now applying and now I'm going back to the GSM gateway and in the IP tell configuration. The IP to tell configuration is basically to receive the call from UCM and send it to the effect GSM ports. So we have single option and batch options. So I'm using single option and giving a name outgoing and the source I'm selecting SIP trunk UCM and destination is port group and now clicking on save. Now I am going. We have created a port group for calling. Now I am going into the tell to IP that means incoming from GSM to SIP trunk that is PBX. So I am selecting port group of source and the destination as SIP trunk UCM. Now saving it. Now I am going into the port group configuration and modifying the setting. Now I am giving VoIP hotline number as 1234 so that UCM will detect an in inbound rule and clicking on save. The configuration in the GSM gateway is con completely done. Now I am going back into the UCM and creating 
outbound rule. So one rule is already created and I am modifying it. Privilege is set to internal and I'm, I am selecting then start SIP trunk here. Now I am going into the inbound rule and adding now I'm giving pattern 1234 which we have set in the star gateway as void port line. So the old pole will be routed to UCM via this DID and destination I'm selecting as 901 extension. So the old calls from GSM will be routed to 901 extension in UCM and after that I'm applying the changes once done. So you can see the status of GSM since I have not connected any SIM in the gateway. Similarly, I can check the dashboard and it is showing the status of VoIP eardrum. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe this channel as well. Please share to others. Thank you.